Thank you, Commissioner, very much. Ladies and gentlemen, and members of the Hall of Fame, it is certainly a pleasure for me to be here this afternoon and quite an honor. It's with pride and emotion, and as the Commissioner said, very intimidating, believe me, to stand here amongst these great Hall of Famers and with you people that have taken your time to come out here this afternoon to join us. It's kind of like a day of Thanksgiving. To me, Thanksgiving comes early in 1984 because, you know, when you think about myself, a kid from the San Fernando Valley, we never had Major League Baseball or anything like that at the time. The way that we read and found out about the names of these people standing behind me is through the newspaper, maybe a picture in the paper. And that was about it. And for me to ever think that I would be sitting today at the autograph session between Happy Chandler and Charlie Geringer, to me that was complete fantasy land. And my thanks to the Baseball Writers Association of America for making that fantasy come true and for allowing me to have that seat here this afternoon. But basically to my mom and dad for the times and the sacrifices that they took to send me around to Sandlot Baseball, American Legion Baseball, Scotty and Vernon Drysdale with me here this afternoon. My thanks to them, to my daughter Kelly, for a chance to make up for the time lost as she grows older and I have a chance to spend a little more time at home and as Dottie Reese can tell you and so many wives, the double duty standards that the mother has to do and we appreciate the chance to get back and be a parent once again to her mother for taking that place of two people and making the sacrifices that she had to make at that time. To my sister Nancy, who is with me here this afternoon with her husband Ed and my two nephews, Scotty and Kelly, her chance to kind of sit back and maybe say, well, maybe it was all worth it, brother. But doggone it, I missed out on a lot of things when they kept taking you around to those playgrounds and I had to tag along and miss out on my fun. I thank all of you for that. And to all the fans in New York and in Los Angeles, the re reaction, the treatment has nothing but great. It's been something that I will never forget all of my life. But I think all of us in baseball have to remember one thing, and I've said this before. As great as this game is, as much fun as we have in this game, the thrills, if it was not for you, the fans, walking through turnstiles, turning on radios, turning on televisions, coming here to Cooperstown to witness these induction ceremonies to just watch possibly a game that you love, baseball would not survive. So we all thank you. That is what we have to say to you here this afternoon. I said to myself, there's only one way to get up here and get through this darn thing. I said, think about hanging a curveball and somebody hits it out and how you felt after that happened. And I've been sitting here listening and trying to get that attitude through. And I've got it pretty well finished right now. At that time, when that happened, you might have tears of anger and anxiety inside, but the tears are still there inside this afternoon. But they're of joy, happiness, and pride. And it's a pleasure to be here. Thank you very much. <laughs>